Hello there, Aquarius. This is time for your bonus love reading for February 2023. Okay, let's see what's going on. What is happening? We have... Okay, grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. Okay, someone's thinking about you. You're grieving. And dark side. They have... A dark side that no one knows and feels is their true self, but too afraid to show you. Okay, that's just crossing. That's why they're grieving. They're, they want to, they can't open up to you. They feel a very strong connection, but they, they, they know they should show you the true, their true self, but they can't. Okay, now what is the general energy we hear? Past life. Their soul recognizes your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they've been waiting for. Wow. And in the past energy, anxiously waiting, they search for you in everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they'll run into you. Okay. And we'll come, come in in the near future here. We have resurrection. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. All right. This person is is dealing with a lot of stuff right now they're trying to they can't let you go and almost feel like this person feels like the best thing for you will be to let for them to let you go but they can't do it they're trying but they can't okay now what's going to come in here we have lack of faith leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets which has made them lose hope in the situation I think this person feels like they should have made a move before and they didn't now they know it's too late okay let's see what the outside influences are permit mark you left a permit mark on their heart that can't be erased even if they tried you will always be remembered okay and how people see you as brewing up dude be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum i feel like you're doing something at this time even though you know you're focusing on maybe your coins or you're focusing on something. You're brewing something up. And I think everybody's wondering what you're up to. What is Aquarius up to? Okay, so now we have hopes and fears. We have coming apart. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Okay, now let's see what the possible outcomes are for you. We have here insatiable. Hmm. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Wow. And then we have, okay, the rival. They chose someone else over you and thought it, and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. I think they would figure that, um, they feel like they're out of your league. So they figured they would go with someone else, but that didn't help. That didn't, that just made things worse. They just wanted you more. And then we have here toxicity their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul okay so take the parts that resonate this um this person is feeling like their friendship their their way their upbringing their way of being is so much different than yours and they're getting drawn back into this energy here now on the bottom deck we have coldness they feel you pulling away they wish they can pull you back and convince you that they're worth keeping. They, they're going back and forth, though. They want this, but they also feel like what what they want for themselves is you. And if they want to be um, do the right thing by you, they don't. Then they want to pull away. Okay, let's um clarify. Let's see about this grieving card. Why is a grieving card here for Aquarius? Why is a grieving card here? Page of Wands, excitement, curiosity. Okay, even though they're grieving, they're planning on coming towards you. I think they have to like make one more um, last effort or just to really see because otherwise they're always going to want to know if they should have done something, should have contacted you. Okay, so the Page of Wands, let's get a charm on that one. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have here, what is this? The key, yeah. The answers they seek, they have to talk to you. There has to be communication so they can figure out what's really going on, what what to do here. Maybe they're sure, they're not sure how you feel, and they need to talk to you. 
Okay, now crossing you, we have this dark side. Okay. So crossing this energy. That they're very conflicted here, this person. Okay, we have here Queen of Cups. They see you as a Queen of Cups. Very intuitive and very sensitive. You just draw them in. It's like they're, it almost feels like you're total opposites here. They feel like they're dark. They feel like you're light. Okay. Let's see. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be any sign. And we have here. Oh, yeah. They're going to take a leap of faith. I think this person's also working really hard on transforming themselves here. So the Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're definitely coming in. And they are working on themselves. You probably don't notice this or know about it, but they are. They are working on themselves. Now, what about this past life connection? Ooh, the tower. Divine intervention. Okay, so general energy around now. Something must have happened. Something triggered something. Major change or something happened in this person's life. So, um, yeah, with the tower, that is airy Scorpio energy. Could be anyone here. But something changed. Something shifted. Something... This person's going through a lot right now. They're very conflicted. Okay, so now, in the past, anxiously waited. Waiting, 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 waiting. I -N -G, okay. Anxiously waiting. They were waiting in the past. You were waiting in the past. Knight of Pentacles, steady progress. See, this person moves real slow. You could be dealing with Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They go slow, very slow. Okay. We have here... A wreath. Victory. They want a victory with you. They probably almost came around around the holidays, but they, they held back. They wanted to. Okay. Now this resurrection brings... Oh, look at this. Page of Pentacles. Wanted to pop out. They're definitely going to contact you. They're really probably writing things down. I almost felt this person probably writing a letter, crossing it out, starting over again. Um, going back and forth on why they should, why they, they shouldn't. So let's see. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's get a charm on that one. Ooh, yeah. They're being, being divinely guided. They feel a very strong pull to you. They can't help it, no matter how hard they try. So it really feels like this person has to make one, at least one last effort. To see if there's any hope here. Because here's this lack of faith. Okay, let's see. They go back and forth though. This person is like a, a seesaw. Up and down, up and down. Okay, let's see. King of Cups, emotional mastery. Yeah, this person is trying to get their emotions intact here. In control. Under control. In control. Under control. Yeah, under control. Oh, Scorpio, yeah. Cancer, Pisces. Could be any sign. We have here a parrot. They might have heard something, something being repeated here, or it's also conversations, communication, spiritual communication. Okay, the King of Cups. A lot of emotions for you, though. Okay, now, the outside influence is that you left a mark on this person. They can never forget you. Okay. We have here Nine of Wands, Trials and Tribulations. They've been through a lot, too. This person's been through a lot. It feels like everything shifted, everything changed since you left, or since you broke up, or whatever happened here. It seems that's when everything really went downhill. But you know, the thing was, I, I feel like this person didn't, um, what can I say? I didn't feel like they made their own effort for things. They just, you know, went along with things. I don't think this, this person doesn't feel like a person that makes decisions. They sort of like, Ask other people's advice. Okay, what about you brewing up? What are you brewing up? Let's see. What are you brewing up? Queen of Pentacles, nurturing. Okay. You're nurturing, I think, your pentacles. That's what you're brewing up. You're working. You're just focused on your coins right now. You're totally focused on your coins. You're nurturing things. You're, you're putting your attention to whatever you need to grow here. And... We have, there's a change going on with you. A major change. The butterfly here. Yeah, but you're definitely into your pentacles. Where's the queen of pentacles? Here we go. Okay, so now. Coming apart. Hopes and fears. Someone's afraid of coming apart. Uh, falling apart here.
the full activation okay so yeah again i'm strong feeling this person is gonna approach you somehow gonna come towards you because they feel they have no choice even they feel like okay they want to do the best by you but they can't stop feeling this push and i think they are getting pushed by spirit even you guys get closure i think you ha can't have it hanging anymore so um this is aries aquarius energy with the fool okay now this insatiable mm. Because that's why this person is longing for you. They're missing you. They're longing for you. They desire you. Okay. We have here the four swords. Healing and recovery. They want to heal the situation. And they want to recover things. And I also get the, the word uncover. There's things that need to be uncovered too. Okay, let's see what else we have. Queen of Swords, sharp and assertive. Yeah, they know when they come towards you, especially if they pick someone else over you. That you are the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They know that they have to face whatever you're going to give them, and they know they deserve it. Here we have, okay, you're very wise, and here's a strong open heart, too. We got two for this one. They feel this very strong connection. They can't, they can't help it. Okay, now... The intoxicity of their friends or who they're hanging out with. What's going on with that? Okay, four of wands, foundation, and commitment. They're, they're trying to move away from this because they want a commitment with you. They know they cannot have a commitment with you if they're in that energy, around that energy. You won't tolerate. Your energy is much higher. You're, you're vibrating on a higher level. And so we have here the sun illumination and growth there's happiness coming in look at this how we have coldness and we have the sun we have the two opposites that's the energy i'm feeling from this person they go back and forth back and forth back and forth and you know you make them happy but then they probably feel your coldness because they they made you unhappy hmm okay so let's get some more cards on this let's see what deck i want to use here i want to change it up a little bit Yeah, let's do this deck. What else do we have going on for Aquarius? What else? Strength. This person's trying to get the strength to come towards you. Leo energy. King of Cups. They are definitely in the King of Cups energy. And they feel they're they're the king to your queen or vice versa whichever you know gender does not matter i feel like you're very intuitive you're very into um your emotions and you got a handle on them this person look at this the two dolphins i always see the, t the dolphins like that as like the ten of cups one of the cards like what's it yeah, i'm not sure what deck it was but it has the dolphins jumping up in the air and that's on the ten of cups this is happiness they're happy when they're with you Okay, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's get a King of Cups here. They're trying to build the strength here. And then we have, ah, uh, yeah, ending for a new beginning. Scorpio energy. A major transformation. I think this person's going through a major transformation. They've been, um, it's like awakening for them. They're realizing things they didn't realize before. And they want to bring this back around. I definitely want to bring this back around with you. Let's see what we have here. <sighs> Moving away from something to move to something better. This person, wow, they see you as an empress. Okay. Eight of Cups, they need to leave something. They might have to leave like a financial situation. Um, maybe some kind of financial security here. Or it's also like leaving a relationship, leaving a connection, leaving a home leaving a business leaving something but they're gonna they want to be alone for a bit to get composure here to be able to come towards you correctly um virgo energy with the hermit and then with the empress that's libra taurus energy but i really feel like this is your energy you're in you're you're very creative you're focusing on creating new things um you're getting a lot of inspiration at this time it's a very strong period for you where you're just like focusing on what you need to do here. This is, um, the Empress could also be that someone's pregnant. 
Of course, that's not going to be for most of you, but it is going to come out for someone here. And um, also giving birth to new ideas, new a new business. I feel a new business coming on or expanding your business, creating more. It does feel like an expansion here. Okay, let's see. What else we have here for Aquarius? Ah, the Ace of Coin. <clears throat> okay, they want to talk. You're working hard and you're you're above the rest. You're you're building a foundation here <clears throat> with this ace of pentacles. Money's coming in for you. And also, here's an end to your burdens. You're figuring out a way to put an end to something here that's been heavy on your mind, that's been bothering you for a while. There is again a, like a changing, a transformation. We have like the lizards here. So there's definitely a change going on here. Money coming in, new opportunities, golden opportunities. Really focused on what you need to do here in many um, areas. I almost seem like there's a lot of things you have going on at once. But you are standing above the rest. This person does want commitment with you. We have the four of wands here. But I think you're also um, making a secure home life for yourself. Uh, it's almost like you're building a nest with or without them. You're doing what you have to do. Okay, so now let's see what the word is. Okay, let's the King of Cups. What's going on with this King of Cups? I only got two. Important. Eventually. Okay, eventually this person's going to probably express something to you. It's important. They know it's important. They know they have to talk to you. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles? Committed. Closure, insult. You're committed to something here. I almost feel like because you're so committed to doing what you need to do here as far as your, maybe your career, your business, this person might be a little taken back by this. They might insult you. And that might bring the closure. It's like, hey, I, I'm not here for your benefit, you know, to, to cater to your needs. Um, and, you know, I think you, it almost feels like maybe you did that before in the past with this person. You're not doing that anymore. They're going to see a whole different you now. You're going to say, hey, if you don't like what I'm doing, tough. This is what I need to do. And this is what I'm driven to. You're very um, focused on your your career, your money here. Okay, what about this queen of swords? So they might just close the door by trying to, trying to they cannot control you. If they try to con control you, they're going to close the door. We have single soulmate pleasure tower okay so there's some kind of tower coming a major change um hmm why again i feel like this person likes that they see you as a soulmate then when they come in it's gonna be some kind of shock i think they're getting the shock because they just think when they show up you're gonna just cater to them like maybe you did in the past and you're not going to so that's going to be a shock for them because if they think they're coming in just to get pleasure and figure that you guys both feel your soulmates, there's something here about, you know, you have your sword drawn here and you're like, no. Mm. That's not going to be for everyone, of course. But that's the energy I'm feeling. What about the Knight of Pentacles? Sincere. Expose. Money. Oh, someone's going to be sincere about something. They're exposing something about money. Let me get a clarifier on the money. Oh, someone stole money from someone. Now, that may relate to you. It may not. I mean, it's someone took money from someone. And this is going to be exposed. That money was stolen. Okay, what about... The page of wands. We have love. Always. Revealed. Past. Okay, this is it's gonna someone's gonna reveal to you that they have always loved you. Someone from the past is gonna reveal that they always loved you. They never stopped. Okay, now what? That's the message they want to come towards you with. 
they're gonna just I think they're just gonna lay everything out and just tell you open up their heart to you because they didn't do it before and then they're gonna let it go from there if it's meant to be it will be they have to give it their all because I almost feel like this person did not do that okay so we have Queen of Cups we have the new star sexual family hmm Okay, so a new start. So something with the family and something about sexual here. Not sure how to take that. Unless, you know, so someone wants to start a family with you. It's kind of weird, you know, new start, family. So, and, oh, it's not going to make sense to everyone. So if it makes sense, take it. If not, leave it. What about this King of Cups again? Okay. Apology. Regret. Together sincere okay so someone is going to be very sincere they're going to apologize they regret something and they want to be together with you okay or once they get together with you they're going to be sincere and apologize and express how they regret what happened okay now we have with the queen of pentacles we have less less feelings karma expect okay so this person is going through their karma which i feel that anyway expects that they're going to express their feelings of lust for you and they're probably going to tell you that they're going through some karma here for what happened wow okay guys now let's see what signs you could be dealing with what are the signs for aquarius what are the signs cancer scorpio i'm going to put this over here Libra, Pisces, oh, all the water signs. Well, we did have a um, Queen of Cups and two Kings of Cups come on. Taurus and Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in their chart. Past, present, and future energies. Okay, so, oops. Okay, so now let's see. What are the letters? Okay, we're going to do... 11 letters for initials, first name, last name, if you get both someone's initial or the first and last name. And they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have B, M, E, P, H, K, oh, H, and then turned over to R. So we have an H and an R. Okay. Y. B. O. Okay. Sometimes I say O and it's a Q. We have boy. <laughs> boy. Okay. So letters we have here they are B M E P H K H Y B O Y. Okay, now, 11 or more names. Let's see what names are. What are the names? Let's shake them up. Okay, I think I need a couple more. Okay, that might be enough. Let's see. Okay, we have Samonte. S-A-M-O-N-T-E. Daniel. Daniel. Joan. Eli, E-L-E-I-G-H, Teresa, T-H-E-R-E-S-A, Magdalene, Magdalene, M-A-G-D-A-L-E-N-E, -E, and Mikhail, M-E-C-H-I-E-L, Brent, B-R-E-N-T, Angie, Bob, and Rachel spell R A E C H E L L E and exactly 11. Love it. Okay, guys, so those are names. Now remember, these are general readings, they are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments and I do reply. Um, if it does not resonate, check out your other placements. You can always check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.